in this uh, uh, system, you would start by having the list of site attributes appear, and the site results would appear over here. So the users could select to search by location. They would get a window which contained a map, and they could select the Middle East, and they would immediately see the list of sites. No other action was required. No typing. Then they could select sites by period and select Hellenistic and Roman. And they could select the excavation dates. This window would appear. And they could choose May or June. And then they could choose the cost by this slider. And this one turned out to be a really important uh, trigger for many of our later thoughts. Uh, in this implementation, Bill had a scale, and you could mark a region that gave the range of prices. Here it looks like about $530 up to $760 per week. Uh, and as soon as you mark that, the resulting sites appear. So this was part of the query by reformulation that you could immediately see the results and you could play with the query. If you didn't get too many choices, you could just adjust some of the parameters in the query, sort of like changing the knobs uh, on a, a control panel and you could see the result of it immediately. Uh, this was a success and Bill did an evaluation with uh, uh, 11 subjects who did tasks on this uh, format as well as typed queries with SQL. Uh, we learned a lot of things from that study. It didn't go as smoothly as we hoped. There were a lot of problems with the user interface and the overlapping uh, windows that were in uh, Bill's implementation. Uh, but the benefits of controlled uh, studies and formal evaluations were that we did get an understanding of the strengths and weaknesses of the interfaces and some measure of how good and how bad. For example, error rates were one-tenth in this uh, uh, visual format than they were in the SQL uh, format. Uh, that was a dramatic difference. Uh, the times were comparable because users had difficulty in, frankly, in manipulating the windows in this interface. But this gave us several clues and we could see the reaction of the users to the joy of just adjusting a query a little and seeing the result immediately. Um, the uh, other limitation of this uh, design was that it satisfied uh, only a limited subset of uh, Boolean queries. Uh, it did a conjunct of disjuncts. Um, it had a set of ands over ors. That is, you would and the uh, uh, different uh, criteria, such as the dates, and you would or within one of the boxes. So it would be May or June, and Greece or Turkey. That kind of conjunct over disjunct is what most people ask, but it does not give you a complete set of Boolean queries. And so we were encouraged, but we wanted to go further and develop a, uh, a complete coverage of all Booleans. And for this, we had to explore more graphical styles of, uh, of, of linking the filters, the selector boxes that gave greater flexibility. Daisy Young implemented this uh, using Toolbook from Asymmetrics Corporation on an IBM PC. The graphical approach provides visual feedback to the users, so users are sure that the query they formed was the query that they intended to form. Imagine that there is a massive amount of water passing through a filter. As water passes through the filter, some of it is held back. The more filters you have, the more restriction you have, and the less amount of water is allowed to pass through. The same thing happens when you use a graphical filter flow representation to form an intersection. The initial employees are placed over here, and the attribute title, location, manager, salary, title are placed above. Users may create the screen by dragging the attribute menus to different locations of the screen. Let's say I want to form the query, list all the Californian drivers. I choose the attribute title location and choose the value California. I also choose the attribute, file, the attribute title title and choose the attribute value driver. As the tuples pass through the attribute menu location, only those employees that come from California are allowed to pass through. 
of those employees, we're interested in only the drivers. And they are allowed to pass through and land over here. So if an employee is over here, that employee is for, located in California, and that employee is driver. There are two methods of forming a union operation. The first method is within an attribute menu, so that you can select two values within that attribute menu. The second is using two different attribute menus. For example, let's say I'm interested in finding all the employees that are managed by either Deji or Janet, or I'm interested in finding the employees who live in Georgia. In this case, it is important to notice that the amount of information that enters this attribute is the same amount of information that enters this attribute. It is possible that an employee is managed by Deji and that same employee is located in Georgia. It doesn't matter which route the subject takes, the employee takes, as long as it's from the initial employee to the resulting employee. In specifying the negation operation, users can press this for X over here. In this case, all the values that were selected before become unselected, and all the unselected values become selected. Previously, all the employees who were from Georgia were allowed to pass through. Now they are not allowed to pass through. Instead, the, the employees from Alabama, Bahamas, California, and D.C. are allowed to pass through. Here we see a more complex query being formed, and we allowed the users to cluster them and reduce larger queries to smaller units so that those units could be saved in a library of components, uh, and also they could be negated as a unit, which is what is necessary to form some more complex queries. Uh, the filter flow mechanism, uh, uh, the, the metaphor, did help us formulate the queries, and it did uh, help users as well. Uh, Deji Young conducted a, an empirical study with 20 uh, subjects, and uh, she, had a she had several tasks, uh, comprehension and composition, but for brevity here, I'll just show the composition results, uh, which were rather dramatic. Uh, there were five uh, queries of, uh, that the users had to form, and with the filter flow, uh, these, this is not in your notes, these are recent uh, results here, uh, the uh, 20, all 20 could form it with the uh, filter flow, and only seven with SQL, 19 versus Verses 16, 15 verses 4, 15 verses 8, and 14 verses 4. A dramatic result which showed tremendous benefit uh, for the formation of uh, Boolean queries. Uh, in this table, you can see some of the kinds of queries that users had to form, and you can see some of the queries, even though they're not extensive, were extremely difficult for the SQL uh, uh, users because of the nesting of parentheses and the use of uh, different operators, the union and the intersection and negation. Only four succeeded in getting that one. Only four succeeded in getting this one. So this gave us encouraging evidence that the filter flow approach uh, was useful. We understand that uh, filter flow is not a complete solution. It was a prototype, a mock-up, uh, but it did give us uh, encouragement. Uh, we think there's a lot more to be done. We need to support large numbers of diverse filters. Uh, in Deji's study, we had only scrolling lists, but why not calendars, maps, uh, sliders for selecting values, uh, as we saw in uh, the earlier uh, work by Bill Weiland. We'd like to support multiple relational tables. We see no problem in doing that, but we wanted to start off by focusing only on the Booleans. Uh, in addition, more complex operators that are found in database query languages, uh, equality or transitive closure, aggregation, and so on, uh, are, are important to model, but we think the filter flow provides a basis for doing that as well. Our goal would be to integrate into some existing systems and provide a library of queries and also provide rapid execution and rapid feedback so that as soon as a query was adjusted, the thickness of the flow would appear on the screen to reflect just how many of the tuples uh, emerged from that filter. Uh, so this has uh, been extremely encouraging for us, and even though we know that uh, uh, complex Boolean queries are only occasionally used. We felt it important to master uh, them in a, in, a, in a complete system. The second theme 